So Peter, we appreciate you coming up to Cloud to do this uh, program with us, um, with uh, PSFA and uh, and uh, the, the, the Republic. Um, this is not your first time here in Palau, is it? Yeah, it is my first time up, up in the North Pacific in Palau. I've actually, this is part of my bucket list, uh, uh, coming to Palau. Mm -hmm. For many years I've met people who travel the world and see all the islands and every one of them has said Palau is the most beautiful <laughs> island there is. And they were right, what I've seen so far is fantastic. Yeah, that's, that's good. What do you think about our program and, and the way we have conducted it? I, I think the way you're doing it is, is quite remarkable. I don't know any other nation on the planet that is so committed to um, the sustainability and the conservation of what they've got, the natural resources, looking long into the future mm -hmm. and making some really hard decisions, you know, like with your commercial fishing and mm -hmm. what you're going to do with it and how you're protecting the reefs and the, picking the species that are already uh, not sustainable and, and doing something about it before it's too late. Mm -hmm. Please give us a a quick comparison of what you see here in the other places that you have traveled and visited. Okay, in a lot of the places, and you know, I won't name the names so they don't get yeah. upset, yeah. Um, they're very short-sighted. They sell off their fishing rights for very short-term gain and really ho not a whole lot of profit. Mm. Um, and basically once the fish are gone and beyond sustainable limits, mm. um, that fishery is over and, and it really takes a very long time to come back. Uh, the other thing is that you're doing is you're doing an incredible job, you know, like today with the children, um, getting them to understand why you're doing what you're doing, which is, you know, what you're doing is a very hard sell mm. because you are looking at the long-term future, which is something most uh, democratic governments don't usually do. You normally they sort of say, well, we're in office for five years, so we're going to make people happy for five years and then let the next government take care of the problems. But you guys are sort of looking into the next 30, 40, 50 years which is absolutely fantastic. Even the way that you've got opportunities that you could take advantage of and get a lot of income, mm -hmm. but you're saying no because that affects the future and, and it's not sustainable. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all of those things, it, it, it's really quite remarkable. And even the efforts of you guys bringing me up here, mm -hmm. you know, to hear my opinions. And, and you know, the good thing is I'm, I'm being listened to and mm -hmm. see the examples in other places and you know, have the ideas of what they could have done better and you guys are way ahead of the pack. In fact, you know, Palau's going to be put on the map, mm. the world map, it's a tiny place. Mm. But what you're doing is going to put on the world map as a place to come and visit respect, uh, which is what people are beginning to do, which is respect the destination they come to. And, you know, support it with what you're doing. Yeah. Well, I, I for one, and I know all of our people uh, do appreciate what you have um, contributed to, to, to this program, and especially on the conservation side. I know the kids uh, this morning do appreciate your short um, pep talk to them on, 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 on conservation and on fishing in general. Yeah. Uh, we hope that you can come back and, and assist. Come assist back? Them. I don't know if I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can stay as long as you want. Thank but you. Um, we seriously hope that you can come back and, and contribute with us and help us move forward with, with our intention to um, spread the conservation. Absolutely. You know, I can even mention my wife. You know, normally yeah, when yeah. I come on these trips, yeah. my wife doesn't care. In the first conversation, I told her about Palau, what the things were, and she is so angry that she's not here. So next time I come, you see my little wife with okay, me. Okay, great. <laughs> so there will be a next time. There will be a next time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah.